a flume as well. Wow, what's that? Hang on, what's that right there? Oh, yeah, it's got a ski on it. Yeah, I know. How cool is that? So guys, check this out. We've just walked into this. We were just checking out a way in, but we've just found this little shed. And uh, for starters, there's this thing. I'm not sure what that is. It's some kind of toboggan thing, because it's on skis. <laughs> Connor's just looked in the corner, and there's a electric chair. <laughs> go on, sit in it. Sit in it, go on. Random gold cot as well. Oh my god, it's actually got wires going into it. We find it still works. It's an actual. <laughs> <It's> an... <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's brilliant. What a random thing to find. It's actually got power supply going to it. It's a real electric what? chair. What? No. It is a real electric chair. No fucking way. That can't be a real electric chair, surely. It wouldn't be allowed. That. Well, I reckon it's like the ones you get in like. Or the, well, the ones that just sort of shake. It's even got the sponge, the wet sponge at the top. That's brilliant. <laughs> Let me come a bit closer because I know this GoPro is not going to get it properly. Cool. Guys, check that out. See what the danger high voltage down there. That's that that's nuts. So that's funny. probably one of the weirdest things I've ever found. Yeah. What a random thing. There's old like um, props, I guess, or like set pieces. Yeah. It would be used for something, I'm guessing, at some point. But how random. This thing's kind of cool, though, isn't it? like a ski rocket. I thought it was one of those things that makes the Christmas trees, you know, you chuck it through and it puts the net over it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Right, let's try and find a way in. Because yeah. we're finding this in garages outside. Where else are we going to find? Jesus. Right, so guys, as you may have noticed, we're somewhere pretty damn cool. We're just uh, climbed up this hill and there's an entrance right here. This is a dry ski slope, which apparently has a uh, ice rink as well attached to it. So we're gonna go check that out, hopefully if we can get in. At the moment, we're on the actual slope. Uh, there's, there's lifts, there's like flumes, there's actually obviously the slope itself. There's toboggans and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, let's not waste any time because we're pretty open right now. Literally, everyone could see us really. So here with Colin, we're just saying, like, so we're pretty open today. We're going to get spotted, but take a look. So you've got a flume right above my head. We've just come through this netting here. But there's, I don't know what that is. It looks like a half pipe down there. Um, but I can get up without showing you, showing off too much of myself. Down there, there is a busy road. Just down there, and that's also where the ice rink is. But if I stand up, you can see how exposed we are. So people can see us really, really easily. So I've got a feeling we're going to get spotted. I am going to fall down here. I can see that already. Oh my God, ow, ow, I don't get stung by sticking that was. Okay, right. Right, we're around. So we've, <laughs> that big dip, we've just gone around there. I'm already covered in bush and things. So we've got a slope up this way, which I might try and tackle. We've got a flume going over my head. I think I'm going to go this way. My goal at the is to try and get to the top. The other thing we've got to mention as well is at the top of the ski slope, there is also a hotel which is still in use. Oh wow, check that out. That is incredible. Got these uh, ski lifts. Right, we're going to continue with where we're going. I'm already most of the way up this slope. I'm determined to make it the rest of the way. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Step over to this. Right, see, now we do need to be a bit careful. Because that building you can see there, the white one, that's the hotel. Because you, so you can see how close we actually are to the hotel. And if I just stand up a little bit, there's cars in the car park. So I'm being super, super careful. Just take a look at the condition of them. 
they don't look as if they've been used for a long time, do they? No, I know, that's pro proper bad to be fair, isn't it? I mean, when did this close? Um, this year. It was this year, I'm pretty sure, sure it was. But yeah, that's, that's actually pretty bad considering it is yeah. quite recently closed. Right guys, so we've just been sat up here chilling for a little bit. It's quite nice actually, quite calm, serene. Um, I did just try flying the drone, but I think it's, it's getting some kind of interference, either from like all these metal bits around me, or we've got the, uh, the stair lift and things like that, either from that, or there is actually an airport kind of not too far away, so it might be that. Anyway, we're gonna head down the hill uh, to the main event, which is where we wanna go, and see if we can find a way in. The only thing we're a little bit concerned about is we have seen there's um, fences around it, um, and there's signs for, I don't know if you've seen them, little robot police things. They're like, they're like Daleks, everyone calls them. They're like little boxes that tend to call the police if you get too close. So uh, we're gonna try and avoid those if we can. Um, but yeah, we're here to see that, so we're gonna go have a look. How safe does that feel? It feels pretty good to be fair. Yeah? It's not too bad. It does creak a little bit, but you can look at the force gown and I still beams underneath it and they ain't going anywhere. I kind of want to go down a little bit, but I'm like, Ooh. Go down a little bit. Yeah, I might do. Just a little bit. If you go further than me, I'll be in the window. <laughs> oh, that's, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> Colin's just been on this bit here and he said, oh, if I go further in here, we'll be annoyed. I don't know if I am. <laughs> See how far you can go then. Oh, God. How far did you go? Don't do that. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> how far did you go? How far did I go? Yeah. About four metres in front of you from where you are now. You were further than that, weren't you? Yeah. That's where you were. Just don't go any further than that pole. Oh, there's, oh my God, there's like gaps. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Is this further yet? No. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, my legs are turning to jelly. Did you make it to the bumper? Oh my god. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. Oh. Fuck you. Stop it. Come on, I must have made it further than you now. Surely. No, you didn't. Oh, I've said that, then you win. <laughs> <laughs> Are you filming yourself shuffling under? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you need a GoPro. Nice and subtle there. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, so we are actually in this section. This is the bit where it says there's those police Dalek things. So uh, we're gonna be a little bit cautious. Quite cool bits in here though, check that out. Got some skis already. This is quite cool, I'm guessing this is well, it's round holes, so I'm guessing probably not skis. Is that maybe the poles? Like the ski poles you'd hold? I wonder. That looks more like the sort of thing I would expect it to be. I suppose different lengths for different heights people as well. Pretty cool though. Although at the moment it looks like we're going to be out of luck exploring inside it. Because it looks pretty well sealed. We've got one other place to check, which is the staircase over there. Which haven't been up yet. But apart from that, I think... We might be scuppered and out of luck. Colin. Yep. Don't be a toad. <laughs> Use the ski word code. <laughs> so guys, we've come to the top of the stairs and yeah, this is all sealed as well. So unless we can find another entrance in another part of the building, we're done. Yeah. Ah, damn. Yeah. 
A bow. Nice. I think that on that. Oh, there's a smoking thing here. One handed as always. <laughs> All right, show off. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Fucking, what was that? Oh, you just told me a nail. I don't know. If it, uh, oh, yeah, it was a nail, yeah. So I, it didn't go. It didn't go into my foot. It just hurt because I stepped on it. Aware yeah. The whole time. You need to wear safety shoes just like we do. <laughs> <laughs> nice safety shoes, man. Yeah, I know. Right guys, so Colin just found these in a bush a second ago. Uh, and I mean, we weren't gonna go down it, but when you find a slope and you find some sleds, you, you can't not really, can you? The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is these are quite oily for some reason. Yeah, I think they've probably sprayed them with fairy liquid or something just to make them slide better. Possibly, yeah. But uh, so we might get very sticky and oily bums in a minute, but still, it's worth, it's worth the fun. <laughs> I think that's the last time that's getting used. I wore a proper hole in mine. <laughs> Guys, that was well worth it. Just to come and do that, that was worth it. Oh my God. Woo. Right guys, so I'm sat in this uh, little chair thing. Colin's gone to get his camera. He's about to come back down. Easiest way to come back down, isn't it? <laughs> I'm out of breath though. That walk up there is such a tough walk. Like I said, we couldn't have come here. Found toboggan things or sleds with a slope and not come down it. <laughs> it's like when we did the theme park a while back. And we went down that on uh, wet floor signs. It's like, if you find something you can use as a sled or a toboggan, and you've got a big hill or a slope or a slide, you're doing it. <laughs> it's like an unwritten rule, you've got to do it. Right guys, so that is it for the video. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a way into the main building. We did have a look around. We've tried like everywhere we, can, we could think of. Obviously we don't break in, so if there's no entrance, we're not gonna go in. Uh, but we still obviously got to go onto the slope and have a go down it, which was really good fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed what we've managed to show you. We had fun here anyway. Uh, so please go and check out Colin's channel. It'll be linked in the description. Also leave a like and a comment down below and I'll see you guys again next time. See ya. Wrap it around my face, I pull my hoodie on. This ain't no time for rookies young. Got my Octo Camel on. Still the wind can't be worried about no five or special ops. I keep my composer steady, thunder, follow, go 